Welcome to another video. We want to find the remainder when 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus tap 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 plus 25 factorial is divided by 13. Notice that they picked the number 13 because 13 is a prime number, although it's not relevant to what I'm, the method I'm going to use, but because 13 is a prime number, there are multiple things you could do with prime numbers in number theory, but I am not going to use any of the complicated theories. Not complicated, but I'll have to explain it, like Wilson's theorem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do basic modular arithmetic representation of each of the numbers mod 13, and we all will get the answer together. Let's get into the video. So in order to understand the solution I'm going to present, it is important for you to know what modular arithmetic is all about. It's all about you representing a number as a smaller version of itself um, in a certain um, modulus, okay? So what I mean is, for example, if I want to write 13, 13 is the same thing as zero, or it's congruent to zero mod 13. So anytime I write 0 mod 13, I am saying if you divide that number, whatever number I was trying to think of by 13, the remainder is going to be 0. So 26 is also 0 mod 13. 39 is also 0 mod 13 because the remainder is always 0. So if I want to write 17, it is, and I'm writing mod 13, I don't have to write 17. All I have to write is write 4 because that's the remainder. So there are many numbers that will share the same property. So we talk about equivalence class, okay? Um, that's why it's complicated, but just understand that if I write four mod 13, I'm referring to 17, or I'm referring to 30, because 30 is four more than a multiple of 13. So 30 minus 26 is with 4 because 26 is divisible by 13. So the same thing we're going to do here. Okay, so now you notice that these numbers go from 1 all the way to 25, right? And the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When you get to 12, the next number is going to be 13 factorial. But 13 factorial is the same thing as 13 times 12 factorial, okay? If you write this number mod 13, this is the same thing as zero, because mod 13, 13 is gonna be zero times 12 factorial mod 13, okay? Now zero times anything is zero, so the answer here is zero. So any of the factorials that contain 13 as part of the multiplication will automatically become zero. So if I write 17 factorial, it is 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 factorial. 13 factorial is zero. So this is zero times anything here, you're gonna get zero. So in short, all values that you're gonna get starting from 13 factorial to 25 factorial will automatically become zero. So we do not need to do the work. Notice, for n greater than or equal to 13, n factorial mod 13 is equal to zero. So all of these numbers, if n is at least 13, you're going to get 0. So our focus should be now on all numbers starting from 1 to 12, because from 13 to 25, we don't need to do any work. We already can see that it's 0. So now let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Now, one other thing I want to show you, because I'm going to use it in the solution. Let's say I want to write... 10 mod 13. 
I can write it as 10 mod 13, or I can say, by how many numbers is 10 less than 13? It's three. 10 mod 13 is the same thing as negative three mod 13. All you have to do is just add 13. Add 13 to this, you're gonna get 10. Add 13 to this, you're gonna get 23, which is three less than 26, which is the next number that's divisible by 13. So it's still negative three mod 13. So just say, by how much is this number less than a multiple of 13, whatever answer you get is the same thing as if you just write is as, as this. So we could write 12 mod 13 and is the same thing as negative one mod 13. Make sense? Okay, now let's do the work. Okay, so what is one factorial? One factorial equals one, which is equal to one mod 13. Now, so we know our answer is one. So all the answers we're gonna be having here will be mod 13, okay? So we have two factorial. It's gonna be two times one factorial which is two times one, which is equal to two mod 13. Okay, let's go. Three factorial will be equal to three times two factorial, which is equal to, okay, let's make it cleaner now, which is equal to three times, what is two factorial? We said it was two, which is equal to six mod 13. Let's go here. 4 factorial will be, we know it's 24, but we can, let's follow the sequence. It's going to be 4 times 3 factorial, which is 4 times 6. What is 4 times 6? Oh, it's 24. So this one is not easy. But note, so it is either you find the remainder when 24 is divided by 13, which is going to be 11, you can write 11 here, mod 13, or you say, by how much is 24 different from the next number divisible by 13? That's just two. So 24 is two less than 26. So I can write negative two here, it doesn't matter. So you can write negative two or write 11. Let's go to the next one. Five factorial equals five times four factorial which is equal to five times, what is four factorial mod 13? It's negative two, five times negative two. What is five times negative two? It's negative 10. Negative 10 is three more than the next number divisible by 13, right? Negative 10 is greater than negative 13, so it's three more means it's a positive three. Make sense? Okay, remember we're going all the way to 12. Okay, we're gonna use that space. Let's do one more here. Six factorial will be six times five factorial, which is gonna be six times three. Six times three is 18. 18 is five more than 13. We can write five mod 13. Notice that all the numbers I've been choosing are just small numbers, okay? At least they add less than half of 13, it makes our computation a lot easier. You can do big numbers, it doesn't matter, okay? As long as you can do the math in your head. So let's go here and do seven to 12. So we got seven factorial, which is gonna be seven times six factorial, which is seven times, six factorial is five, okay? What is seven times five is 30, okay? 30, 30 is closer to 26, right? So 30 is four more than 26 mod 13. Okay, now we have eight factorial is eight times seven factorial, which is gonna be eight times four, which is, what is eight times four? 32, 32 is closer to 39 than it is to 36, no, yeah. It's actually, so I want to pick the smaller number. So you can say it's negative seven or it's positive six, whichever you choose. I'm going to choose because this is 32, which is six more than 26. So I'm going to date six mod 13. OK, 
okay? I hope my numbers are correct. Now, 9 factorial will be equal to... Now, when you're doing your work, you don't have to write all of these. Just multiply this by 9. That's all you have to do, okay? So, but I'm just presenting it nicely. So, this is 9 times 8 factorial, which is 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54. So, this is going to be 2 mod 13 because that's 54. It is 2 more than 52. Yes. Okay. So, we go to number 10. 10 factorial is going to be 10 times 9 factorial, which is 10 times 2, which is 20, which is going to be 7 mod 13. And 11 factorial is going to be... Now, this is getting closer to 13, so, but let's just do it. It's going to be 11 times um, 7. Ooh, 11 times... 10 factorial, which is equal to 11 times 7. Why did I write 7? I could have picked a smaller number, right? A smaller number. Instead of writing 6 mod 13, I could, I mean, 7 mod 13, I could have written negative 6. Negative 6 mod 13 is the same thing as 7. Or just add 13 to this, you're going to get the positive number. Keep adding. You always add, okay? So here I get times negative 6. Nice. I want to do this. So, this is negative 6 to 6, so I can write this as negative 1 mod 13. Okay? We go to 12 factorial is going to be 12 times 11 factorial, which is going to be 12 times negative 1. I suspected that I messed up. I had to take some time to look at my work. This is not correct. 7 factorial is 35. 35 is 4 less than 39, right? So this is where the problem is. Because it is 4 less, it's supposed to be a negative 4. And I have to translate that into this. So this is negative, negative 4. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32, and negative 32 is... Negative 32 is how far from negative 39? It's bigger, okay, by 7. It's a plus 7 or a minus 6, okay? So this is supposed to be a minus also. <laughs> okay, now i got to transform this also to minus 6. Okay? So this is going to be negative 6 times 9. It's going to be negative 54. So this also will be negative. Ah, all these numbers are negative. Okay, and this will ultimately be a positive. So those are all the mistakes that I need to correct. And this would be a positive. Okay, this would be a positive, And this will now be a negative. Actually, yeah, this was what prompted me to know that something was wrong because 12 factorial by Wilson's theorem is negative 1 mod 13. Okay, so this is Wilson's theorem. If p is prime, then p minus 1 factorial is minus 1 mod p. That when I knew I was wrong. Okay, so I think everything should be good now. So all we have to do is add up all of these numbers, because that's what they want us to do, add them up and see what the answer is going to be, mod 13. So let's go. What is this? This is equal to, this is 9 minus 2 is 7, plus 7 plus 8 is 15, minus 10 is 5, minus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. So the answer is 9 mod 13. This is the remainder, okay? Therefore, the remainder is 9. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.